<laughs> Only we can see her vagina. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to a very special edition of Drunk Advice. It is Christmas time, so we thought we'd do a, a theme. We thought we'd go all out. <laughs> Where's your nose? Today I have with me a uh, housemate and wonderful musicianship lady person, Lauren Aquilina. Woo! <laughs> there we go, yeah. from our studio audience. <laughs> We've got a studio audience of one. It's very <laughs> one sad. Person. I'd okay. also like to point out that it's like... 2 One, p.m. Yeah, 2 p.m. on a Wednesday, which is my new favourite drinking time. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers Merry to Christmas. That. Oh, I'm not going to be able to drink with this now. There are three rules to drunk advice. Rule number one is be drunk. If you don't drink, be in the spirit of drunk. I'm like drunk, drunk and in the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> oh, God. I just want to point out the fact that I picked this coloured tinsel because it was very like internet blogger. blogger. Got rose gold tinsel and copper oh, tinsel. You are like so 2016 Thank right you. now. Thank you. I'm like <laughs> fucking tacky as shit. <laughs> <laughs> My blue tinsel. Your favorite color is blue. That's why I got blue. Oh, that's so thoughtful. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> that's actually really nice. Rule number two: Have a friend with you, as we've established. That's me. Yeah, friend and housemate, life partner. Might as well. Whilst we're at it, we are ready to adopt. We are. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but for real. We're just like, uh, can we be co-parents? <laughs> we don't need men. And rule number three, as you probably established from our current state of being, don't take our advice. Mm -mm -mm. No. We tweeted for your questions. Um, things you need advice with and we're going to answer them. How do I deal with all of the questions about school and lovers? What? At a family meeting. Oh. Uh, oh, classic Christmas question. Yeah, all the family round at Christmas, like, oh, uh, how's school how's going? The love life? <laughs> I prefer the approach of just being, like, brutally honest. So, like, you know. If, so, it, like, they'll never ask again. Like, in my, <laughs> yeah, like, in my first year of um, A levels, I got really bad results. I got, like, E E U or something. Mm. So like people would ask Solid. me, and I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, I like failed, and then they'd be like, oh, do you want another sausage roll? <laughs> <laughs> and then they like move on to something else. Help! How do I talk to my crush? Fuck. Talk to them. Wait. Fuck relationships! <laughs> like literally, it's a trap. Don't, don't do it. Like. No, I had a solution. Oh, Kitty, yeah. Do you always have sex first? Don't talk to anyone. Stay inside and you won't get hurt. The only thing they're going to give you for Christmas is a broken is heart. A broken heart. Oh my god. Oh. Mic, mic drop. <laughs> anyway, next question. General tone of this video summed up right there. How to forgive and stop holding grudges. Like, you don't have to forgive someone or hold a grudge, but you could just forget. I think the opposite. I think forgive but don't forget. <laughs> I my Which advice my advice is to like not hold on to negative feelings about that person or anything like that. But if they ever come to you again, if they need help with something, you'll remember that they like fucked you over. How do I deal with listening to ignorant comments at Christmas from family members, e.g., homophobic, sexist? Right. If there's anything that we've learned from Brexit and from Donald Trump. Is that you have to talk to your family Edu about these educate things. Educate them. It's not a case of, oh, my gran's really racist. That's just her. Let's just ignore it. No, she can still vote. Yeah. So talk to her about it. Yeah. I wish, like, I wish every day that I'd spent more time trying to persuade my dad not to vote Brexit. Can I take my nose off? You can take your nose off. <laughs> what are your top tips on learning to be happy and content with yourself? Masturbation, <laughs> self love, self care. It is a way. There are loads of other ways. Care to elaborate? <laughs> oh God, oh God. How to survive forever being stuck in the friend zone? First of all, friend zone doesn't exist. Second of all, Ooh, doesn't it? <laughs> if we're defining the friend zone as you like someone, they don't like you back, but they want to be your friend. How do you survive that? Um, I will say I'm actually currently in this situation. Because I like someone. They didn't like me back and they were all like, 
we should just be friends. Do you want to be friends? Yeah. But it just means that I have to like accept that and not be mad about it and not resent them for not liking me. You can't be mad at someone for not feeling that way about you. Yeah. Because that's not their fault. They can't help how they feel. If you feel really strongly about someone and it's not returned, it can be difficult to be friends because, Mm -hmm. you know, you just want to like... Kiss them. Grab them. Kiss them and touch them and be naked with them. And they don't. And they don't want to do that. So maybe you have to restrain yourself. Maybe you need to take a break from friendship. Am I talking to myself? Do I or do I not go to a Christmas party alone? Definitely go. But like what Christmas party? Is it a work Christmas party? A friend's Christmas party? Surely you're going to know people there. Just go. Definitely If you don't, go. make friends. And also, if you go to a Christmas party and you wear, like, an interesting Christmas jumper or, like, some shit like this. Immediate talking point. Exactly. Icebreaker. Exactly. It's the perfect opportunity. How do you even relationship? Oh, fuck off. How to stop thinking about the fact that you graduate in six months and have to find an actual real-life job. Stop thinking about it. Focus on your studies. You've got six months left. That's a lot of essay deadlines and exams. Don't think about the future. Also, self-employment. Yeah. We are both, yes. we are both yes. self-employed. And we get drunk on Wednesday afternoons for work. <laughs> How do you stop feeling shitty and pathetic about being a virgin at uni? Oh my god, being a virgin is great. I loved my virginity. <laughs> It was a great time for me. This. Yeah? Yeah. You never have to worry about being pregnant. How to deal with an asexual partner when you're not? Jesus. Oh, I can't oh answer God. It. Communication. Also, try and figure out what sex means to you. Like, is sex for you important in a relationship? I know for me, it definitely is. Which means that I probably would find difficulty in having a relationship with someone that didn't want to sleep with me all the time. Like, that would just... They put a spanner in the works. Yeah, if you really want a sexual relationship and they don't, then it's just unfair on you both in the long term yeah. to like. But some carry asexual on. people do have sex, but it's also about like for me, I need to feel wanted and desired sexually. Yeah. Before I retired, I was a musician. <laughs> I love that you're <laughs> retired at twenty one. Is my favorite. I was a musician, and if I like sold out a show or something, I would get gifted champagne. But I don't really drink champagne, so I've just got loads of it in my cupboard. Not complaining. <laughs> oh. Woo! Yay! We did it! It just spilled everywhere. <laughs> Any good Christmas themed flirting tips to try with your crush? Right. You can get little hats like these. I'm not entirely sure where from, but try Primark that's got mistletoe on it or like fake mistletoe. That is perfect. I can't find any good questions. They're all boring. Uh, pardon moi. You're disgusting. I know. Are you drinking out of the bottle, mate? Mm. Okay. Here we go. How to go about moving to London? Oh, email. Oh. Mary. Fucking. Mary. Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> and a happy new year. You know how people do vlogmas? And Are you sick of daily videos in your sub feed? Yeah? Well, welcome to Vlognica. <laughs> eight days of daily videos from me for the eight days of Hanukkah. <laughs> That's the advert. Are you going to subscribe, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually going to unsubscribe. What? Anyway, there's that to look forward to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you go follow Lauren on Twitter because she's funny and she's going through a hard time. And um, it's, it's, <laughs> that's she's... like the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. No, but also oh like, so... God, it just made me sound so pathetic. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that because Fuck of that, you. because of that, your tweets are entertaining. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every week, except for during Vlognica, where it's going to be every day. So, fun times. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Bye.